Josh Heupel won an SEC East game at home against Florida, who was their long rival. And the same thing with Florida that I'm gonna that I said about Miami. Give Billy Napier some time. He's gonna have Florida. I, I'm convinced that Billy Napier is gonna have Florida competing for championships. But it just takes time. Heupel is there. He's doing a great job at Tennessee. He has his offense humming. There are a few offensive coaches in the country as good as Josh Heupel. He has those guys being able to score. They're playing at an unbelievable tempo, and he's got the people in the volunteer state believing again in the Tennessee Volunteers. I think he's doing an excellent job, and it's a huge win for him and his program. I absolutely agree, and I'm with you on Billy Napier. You saw the you saw the fiery attitude on the sidelines. He had to have like five get-back coaches. I thought he was going to rip the refs' heads off, but coaching to the end, I really like the way Billy Napier's got things going. And by the way, kudos to Anthony Richardson bouncing back from a really tough start these last couple of weeks. It certainly looked like he was hobbled on the second play of that Kentucky game a couple of weeks back. A little bit more confident. Of course, Tennessee's defense is not world beaters, but Anthony Richardson really led his team Kept them afloat, took some big hits, finished with 62 yards rushing, two touchdowns, 24-44 passing, 453 yards, two touchdowns, and, of course, that one interception. But Anthony Richardson, making progression. That's what you want to see. Let him grow a little bit, just like this Florida program is going to need over the last next two or three years on the recruiting trail. Anthony Richardson, he's not going to be that first-round guy that everybody kept trying to push him out for there for immediately in the preseason. We all got caught up into it because of his rushing ability in the Utah game, but he's coming along. If he keeps that confidence up and stays healthy and not so hobbled, you expect some more big games from him this season. You know, you talked about Anthony Richardson and his running ability. If you want to win championship football, you're going to have to have a – I don't care how great your quarterback can run and move, they've got to be able to stay in the pocket and complete passes down the field to play football at a championship level. And I I think you're right about that, Brandon. Anthony Richardson has some game. He can run around. He's going to make some exciting plays. But until he can complete passes in the passing game, Florida's going to come up short sometimes in games like this. How seriously do we need to be taking Tennessee at this point? I I, I think it's a difficult discussion to have, and I like your thoughts because they get Alabama at home, but they got to go on the road to play LSU. They got to go on the road to play Georgia. It's kind of a weird back and forth, yet overall brutal slate. Brandon, should the volunteers be taken more seriously, or do we still need to let things play out when we talk about the volunteers? You know, it's all about context. Like, seriously, within what, the SEC East race? Yeah, maybe so. But the issue is still the the defense. I mean, that's going to be their Achilles heel in some of these big games here, uh, including, of course, Alabama and Georgia, and I think Georgia specifically because that's going to be kind of crunch time for them. Um, I think with the way Alabama is playing and has been playing, there's going to be a team some point this season that's going to jump up on them on the road um, for Alabama. We're going to see that, I think, because of the way they've been playing on the road. But Tennessee just doesn't quite have everything, all of it. They've got the offense. They've got the plan. They've got the scheme. They've got the coach in Josh Heupel. They most definitely have the quarterback in Hinton Hooker. Talk about a gamer. Him getting beat up the way he did, hobbled and still picking up first downs, willing that team down the field. Fantastic performance from him. They would look a lot different if he wasn't on the field. Um, But Tennessee, they've got to fix some still still some things on that defense. Um, And I didn't like the way they performed on the defensive front at times today as well. There, there, there's some leaks there defensively that's going to it's gonna come up and bite them at some point. You can't simply just go out there and think you're going to win every game because you're scoring 40 or maybe 50 points because that's just not going to happen against Alabama or Georgia or on a consistent basis. But they could beat – they have a chance against both of them. They have a chance because of that offense. But that, that defense, I, I don't trust it, when it you know, if it's a tight game in the fourth quarter. When you're talking about taking Tennessee seriously, are we talking about national championships? If we're talking about national championships, no, they're not a contender for that yet. If we're talking about being a good team in their division and making to a respectable bowl game, I think that you can expect that from Tennessee. But we have to always be careful. Like they still got to play Georgia, you know, and until I see somebody in the SEC East beat Georgia, 
I'm not going to believe that any of them can. So right now I would say that Tennessee has positioned itself as a good program. They'll go to a good bowl game, and we'll go from there.